in the wild part visual Buddha too, uh, obviously my Komungo is historically since 4th century. It's based on Buddhism aesthetic. When I made it, the, my electric Komungo, uh, even though the sound and the material is different, I try to keep that essence of Komungo, which is meditative energy. So through this visual Buddha too, I'm still trying to deliver this meditative energy. I try to connect this huge space that I'm a very small person. We all know that. Uh, but just searching for myself through this piece. And when you play this piece with other people, you're, you're performing uh, in November with uh, two other Samir Chetagchi, tabla player, and Thomas Buckner, vocalist. And are they also um, expected to meditate or to know about meditation to perform this piece? Well, let's put this way: if this music is only for meditation, or the, that the concept is um, uh, based on meditation. I think it, it, there will be some creative moment. But however, I think uh, bottom line is that there, there is very strong uh, the, uh, the calm energy underneath, I think. Uh, with uh, uh, um, Samir Chattanooji, uh, we're making two duos. Uh, one with the common go, acoustic common go with the tabla. It will be interesting, Korean Indian culture merging together. It's going to be interesting. Uh, and then also I play drum, Buddhist battle drums, a huge one, very big one, three of them suspended, huge frame, it's beautiful. And uh, he will play Nebula, and so we are making drum duo as well. Uh, and then uh, Tom Buckner will sing. Uh, for him, I decide to bow the electric bongo. and. Uh, I recently upgraded the electric Komongo program for specifically for that piece. So it will be all new sets of sound. I find this very interesting um, about the electric Komongo because it's the only electric Komongo in the world. Right. right? right. Maybe you could give some of um, some idea of what what's happening technically. What are you doing? Um, I understand you're doing some sort of Processing or? It's a, first of all, it's amplified, yeah, with electric instrument. But I was not interested in amplifying instrument. And that, you can do that using microphone. But that goes to the uh, uh, computer. I'm using a Max MSP program. So it goes to uh, the uh, computer program. And that will, uh, the, I have also MIDI pedal. I can use food. And uh, uh, I can trigger the program in live, so it's going to be a uh, live interactive uh, performance. So I have about the, right now 40 different kind of programs, and I'm triggering the, the uh, different programs. What was your interest in, in using these programs to get out of the acoustic world? Well, you know, as all composers, I'm looking for new pieces, new toys all the time. And I have acoustic common goal, so beautiful one. I can make music for acoustic separately. But having another instrument, I didn't mean that making a better instruments than acoustic. I just want to have two different toys. When I was in Korea, I was struck at how important the earth is. Korea and things are things are very much rooted in the space and the right. earth right and um, and when I watch you perform on the Kamungo it's such a it's such a physical and natural experience very earthy. yeah and the way and uh, you know the way you strike the strings it's just so um, it's very moving in that way and so to use the electric kamungo is kind of like your other personality almost. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Completely well, other place. Isn't it nice that you could have both? Uh-huh. Yeah. But that's the joy. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Thank you so much. It was a, it was absolutely wonderful speaking with you and you.
wondering about all your work. Thank you so much.